Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to DIY Dozier. On today's episode, we're going to be going over how to replace deck materials, handrails, and stringers on this old wore out deck at my house. So stick around, I'll show you the tools that are required how to get the job done. Here's a quick view of the deck. It's a bit uh, weathered old. Um, the rails and everything, they kind of kind of move a little bit in an unsafe way. Uh, I've replaced boards over the years. You can see I did that one there. I did two more over there. Uh, I did another, another one over here. Um, the stringers are all shot all the way down the stairs. All the stringers underneath the stairs themselves are cracked and destroyed the stairs the steps sag when you when you take steps on them it's just a matter of time before you fall through there so uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back through here i'm going to redo all the rails i'm going to redo our stringers stairs uh and i'm going to redo all the decking i'm going to leave the joists underneath the deck which hold the you know the, the frame the structure i'm going to leave all that uh it seems to be uh pretty good from what i can tell I got my my delivery of wood sitting on the driveway over there on the other side of the house. So I have zero experience doing any of this. Uh, I'm going to uh, figure it out by disassembling it, just taking notes how it's put together, and put it back together hopefully better. Because I don't like nails. Everything was nailed together. It's kind of uh, floppy and loose. Um, I'd rather it be secured with screws and be you know last longer and not have some nails backing out and all that stuff so so i'm not a contractor and i don't claim to be one i'm not sure where to start i'm just kind of looking at this deck and trying to figure out you know where i want to start at and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and start with the the structure up high up here i'm going to do the stringers and the stairs last uh, but what i can see here is these six by six posts are secured with nails they're just kind of uh, toenail right there into the uh, the decking all the way around it um, and they're actually on top actually on top of the deck itself so this board was put down and then they came back and put those posts in and then came back and did the rails and attached all that on top onto the posts so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna disassemble all the handrails all the way around the deck here Take those down. I'm going to lay them down. Keep them all together in one piece. I want to be able to measure uh, the length of what we have here and replace it essentially the same way as I take it apart. So I want to get the spacing right on these little uh, balusters or pickets, whatever you want to call those. I'm pretty sure they're called balusters. Um, make sure that everything is right. All right, so I'm going to show you all a quick uh, little overview of this set of stairs here. They're very, very rotten. So there you go. Here's our center stringer. There's our center stringer on the stairs. <laughs> kind of been repaired a couple times already. That one's split. That one's been fixed, kind of. Again, kind of fixed. Another broken stringer there. Another broken one. Another broken one. Rotten stairs. Broken. Broken 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 and repaired kind of broken <laughs> broken 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 there's not one good stair on this entire set of stairs not one they're all trashed in effort to not get a lawsuit on my hands from somebody falling we got to fix this let's get on to it and my tools to get started here Simple hammer and a little pry bar.
This is Sparta! All right, so I got most of the handrails down, and here's what I've discovered. I don't want to take this post down just yet. It is holding my handrails for the stairs. I mean, I'm going to be going up and down the stairs a lot, uh, taking boards up here to redo the decking. And just for safety reasons, I'm going to leave this in place for now. I'll leave that in place for now. Uh, this one I'm not going to take out at all, but I see something here that is going to be kind of a booger um it's it's toenailed in to this this deck board here it's sitting on top of that deck board and that board's gonna to have to come out so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that yet more than likely what's going to end up happening is i'm going to dig those nails out of there and i will probably end up uh having to do that to remove this this deck board right here uh but we'll cross that bridge when we get there uh, for the time being, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start pulling up boards. So I'm going to snatch a you know, board at a time out. You can see over here, this post is also toenailed into the deck boards. So I'm going to have to dig those out. Those, those two nails right there, I'm going to have to take those out. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to start pulling out deck boards. I'll probably get you know, two or three out at a time and, uh, I replace them. So it appears this one on the end was ripped. So it's about half the length of the other one beside it. And it appears that they started the deck on this side with the, with the big board here and running all the way down to the last end where you barely see it. I should probably do the same because I'm looking over here I'm going to have to cut angled cuts to get underneath there up to the house I'd like to have the same angle there so I could just lay the uh, the old board onto the new board draw a line cut it and bring it back out here yep I could do that that's what I'm going to do okay let's do it Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink. All right, so here we are down in the yard. I've got this board removed and it's sitting on top of another board. Uh, it is 10 feet. I just measured it. So this board's 10 feet in length. I'm going to line up the ends and uh, all right, I'm just going to take a pen. And I'm going to scrab along that line right there. So I got my angle. Cut that with my trusty old skill saw here. There we have our line. Alright, to secure our new board in place, I'm going to be using uh, number nine inch and a half uh, wood screws here. These are coated. So they're not just uh, they're not just galvanized. These should prevent 
any kind of uh, ugly discoloration from rain and all other stuff uh, staining your new boards so anyway that's what we're gonna be fastening with and the drill so let's get this put in I love everything fire spreading all around my room my world's so bright it's hard to breathe but that's all right Hush. all right there we go got the uh first board installed I did not rip this other board yet that's gonna go on the end here I will do that probably last uh, but notice the edge overhanging it's overhanging about an inch there um, yeah excuse my my mess on the ground there that's about a 13 foot drop but anyway um, I'm gonna take a chalk line when I get done I'm gonna snap a chalk line across the edge and uh and cut it off with a skill saw so it's nice and even with the end so just saw that one process there i'm gonna go ahead and start snatching out the second board here and just repeat it I want y'all know that I switched out to uh, this is an inch and three quarter, uh, number eight inch and three quarter. The uh, the screws that I had weren't quite going through to the depth that I wanted. You want to be sure that you've got at least uh, it's seventy five percent of the thickness of your board of bite on the screw. So when you shoot a screw in, you see your screw here. But you want three quarters of the screw, or three quarters of the board's thickness, um, in teeth on the screw to bite into the wood that it's going into. So the other one was a little short; it was about like that. So I had to kind of countersink it a little bit into the wood to make sure that it got deep enough into the wood it was being mounted into. So anyway, this is an inch and three quarters. So this is what I'm using now. I've transitioned from the inch and a half. I only did one board with inch and a half. And like I said, I had to, I had to countersink them pretty deep to make sure that, that it, it actually bit into the wood below the joists. So I've got the right screws now. Continue with this. Spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush So this is the next day. It's been raining all day. I finally got out here and uh, got started. I got about, I guess, uh, eight boards down so far since yesterday. Uh, 
figured I'd give you a quick little tip here. If you didn't know this and you're doing this kind of work yourself, it's good to know this is what we call a crown, okay? The crown is the arch that you see in the wood grain. See how it curves? Okay, so currently the arch is pointing upward. So you always want the crown to face down. So right now, the curves pointing up is, is the way you want it to be. If you flip it over like this, you don't want to lay your wood like that. The reason for this is as the wood dries out and moisture leaves the wood, it tends to curve. And if it's like this, the sides will curve upward and it'll make a concave surface. And it's unsightly on your deck. You could trip on it. It's not so great. So turn it over like this. Put your deck boards down like this with the crown facing downward. This way, when the wood starts to shrink up and the moisture leaves it, if it curves, it tries to curve down. But it can't do that because the edges are against the wood and you have screws or nails or whatever holding the wood against the floor joist. So always face this downward. Moving on. Something else to look for while doing your deck boards is not all of the boards are always going to be completely straight. Sometimes they're going to have a little curve to them. Uh, this end down here might be tight, which it is. Right there, it's pretty tight. And then up there, you have a gap. You see that gap? Here's a gap right there. So what I'm going to do is show you a trick how I am uh, wedging a hammer in between these boards you can do it however you got to but you got to make sure these are tight spaces so I'm gonna wedge a hammer down here I'm gonna take a hammer and I'm gonna stick it in this little crevice right there so I have a ledge stick the hammer in there put it up against the next board and I'm gonna pry back and when I do that it puts pressure on this gap and tightens it up. So I'm going to pry it back. And I'm going to set my screws in the end down here. I'm then going to set the hammer in a little bit further up here and do it again. And do it again down there. And it's going to pull that board tight up there. So I'm going to start a screw in this board. And then I'm going to pry and shoot it in with my drill. I've started the screw. I'm going to go ahead and pull backwards on this hammer. And wedge it kind of tight. And now, let's see if I can do this with... Two hands here. Shoot the screw in. All right, so that's in. Now I'm going to shoot another screw in there. I'm going to start working my way up this way. All right, here we are at the end of the board. As you can see, it's tight right here. As you get further up, it starts to bow outward. And there you go. It's pretty, pretty big gap. So again, I'll take my hammer, set it in here on this board like that, and I'm gonna pry. And when I pry on it, it pulls that gap shut. All right, so here I am wedging it, and it's pulled it a lot, but it's not completely shut. But if I let it go, there it goes, it goes back to that. I'm gonna need a hand for this one. And there you have it, it's a very tight. Do it like a tiger. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Moving on. Keep on rolling with this. I don't know if you noticed in the video or not but uh when i was carrying these boards up initially i was carrying up like three boards at a time well the added weight in conjunction with my body weight while walking up these stairs um yeah uh did i mention these stairs and this deck needed to be replaced i'm, I'm not sure if i mentioned that or not but this just happened yeah that that happened from the added weight from carrying three boards <laughs> and that one down there is on its way also it is equally uh, <laughs> loose so yeah I think I'm gonna stick to uh, carrying like a board or two at the most probably just 
just one board at a time and if I'm feeling brave I'll carry a second board these stairs are bad this deck is bad hey but I'm here to fix all that so here I am day three trying to get out here and work again well it's uh, currently raining I don't know if you can see it or not but it's raining Every time I try to break out the saw and cut a board. Yeah. It will. So that was fun. I got all the deck boards down. Uh, not too many issues. I have this last piece here that I got to put down. Uh, really, if you wanted to do it, I mean, I guess looking back at it right now, I probably should have started on this end first. If I had started down here, I could have used the whole board on the front here and then you know had the small piece on the back but you know i was uh replacing the boards i figured i'd replace one you know pull one up and replace it and they'd be the same size i was wrong <laughs> live and learn part of one of my little mistakes you know so this is why they had the tiny board back here which i still don't have down yet so i'm gonna have to rip a board and put it in back here and also rip a board and put it in over here so i'm gonna go ahead and uh get my measurements real quick and uh rip the board and put it down all right so now that i got my end pieces on on both sides of the deck i'm gonna come out here and mark a line across any of these boards that are overhanging and i'm gonna cut them off with the saw we got a nice clean edge. Okay, so now I've got some uh, three inch screws here. Uh, premium exterior wood screws, they're coated, they're nice. Same thing I was using before, but they're three inches. I'm gonna come back here and uh, shoot some screws in through this bottom post here into the deck on uh, all the sides. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a few through through this, uh, this joist down here to reattach it. It looks like it's coming apart a little bit. Shoot a couple screws in there and come all the way over here and shoot a few screws in the base of that post as well back into that. I'm gonna come back and tighten this lag bolt up with my ratchet. Same thing on the other side, tighten up that lag bolt over there. And then I'm gonna get started on some handrails. Mm -hmm. 